dead started walking, I was small and alone. Until a man named Lee became my protector. Lee protected other people too. But he couldn't save everyone. Never save everyone. The living were just as dangerous as the dead. A woman in our group named Lily lost her dad, and then she just couldn't cope. She took the life that Lee saved. Lee showed her kindness, but she took advantage of it later. Lee taught me how to survive. He protected me as long as he could, but he got bit because of me. And even in the end, he was still teaching. Lee wouldn't make it. He knew it was the end. He made one final request. He asked me to shoot him. And I did. I met another group after that, broken people, running from their past. There was a woman who gave birth to a boy named Alvin Jr. AJ, he made it. But the mom didn't. And I started to take care of him. But then, Jane left AJ in the snow. We thought he was gone forever. That was the last straw for Kenny, and without Lee around, I had to make the call. I couldn't, and Kenny killed Jane. It turned out AJ was alive. Jane hid him to make a point. Knowing what they'd done, I still decided we were better together, for AJ's sake, but like everything else, it wouldn't last. AJ and I traveled to a new frontier. I thought we'd found something that worked, but I was wrong again. They took AJ from me, said I was too young to take care of him. I fought back. But I wasn't strong enough. I searched for a long time. Just when I gave up hope, I found him. We're searching together now for a place we can call home. I'm all AJ has. He's all I have. And I'll protect him with my life. Just like Lee did for me.
What you doing there, goofball? Pretending we got bullets. Well, don't. It's getting on my nerves. I don't like goofball. I'm too big for it. Huh, so I guess you're all grown up now. Yep. Well, let me drive. I'm not letting you drive. What's wrong? AJ? Hungry. Alvin Jr., it's me, Disco Broccoli. Word on the street is that you want to eat me. Is that true? Do you want to eat me? <laughs> Come on, Clem, I can't eat a toy. Aw, oh, man, my feelings are hurt. My stomach hurts. <laughs> Sassy. Here, practice your reading. I don't wanna. It'll take your mind off your stomach. Preheat oven. Place cream, vanilla be beans into a saucepan and bring to a boy. Uh, on second thought, never mind. That's only gonna make you hungrier. Here you go. About all we got. What about you? Go for it. We'll find something else soon. I believe you. We gonna do it? Think so. Looks clear. We're doing it. Need water too. All right, let's find some food. Friendly, ring the bell. What does it mean? It means the people here shoot first.
AJ, stay back. It's down. Still with me? Still here. No bites. Next, we get in there. Whoever used to grow things here is long gone. Monster trap? <laughs> it's not a trap. You swing on it. For fun? You get in the tire, and someone pushes you so that you go really high. Huh. Oh, I wanna try. After we clear this place. Interesting. What do we do inside a new place? We listen for monsters. After that? Uh... Come on, you remember. We... Inside a new place? We always... Check, check the, windows. the windows. That's right. Monsters. All tied up. They can't get us? No, they can't. Hmm. Windows are all boarded up. This one's locked. Security door. Hmm. Can't pry that open. I know you're hungry. I am too. We'll find something. I promise.
too small to crawl through. Well, for me. See anything? Looks like some cans. Could still be edible. One of us might be able to fit through there. Is that the only way in? Let's look around. Let's be smart. That's right. Homemade. Might be more where this came from. They ate well before their last meal. <gasps> it wouldn't be that easy, would it? Please leave us alone. This is what we wanted. Poison. Did they give up? They wanted to leave this world together holding hands in their own home. Will we have a home? We'll see. I bet this opens the lock. <sighs> That's not happening. And the key or the window. Those are our options. It's dark in there. We should kill the monsters. They're not people. Well, they used to be people. And as people, they asked to be left alone. So what's best? I'll get the key. I'm sorry. Good job. <sighs> Sorry, it had to go this way. thing going here. Can we stay here? We'll see. No one's here. No one's ever anywhere. It's always just monsters. I'm here, kiddo. I know. Are you saying I'm not someone? That's not what I mean.
just a few. Remember what we said? You know this. Never, Never hesitate. That's right. Come on, let's keep looking. There's gotta be something we can eat. Hope so. You good? Uh-huh. Just hungry. Grumbly in your tumbly? <laughs> no, just regular hungry. Not the worst place to sleep. Spoiled. Sorry, buddy. These are long gone. Fuck. Hey, watch the swears. I'm in shoot. Look. Huh. We didn't see a kid. No. No, we didn't. Might be why they gave up. Something under here. Floor door? Huh, yeah. I must have wanted to hide something. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it is. We could eat for weeks with this much. It's rigged! AJ!
PJ. Uh, uh, uh. will do. Where the hell am I?
Nothing over here. Turn around. Put down the knife. How about you do the same? We're not gonna hurt you. We've got your boy, he's safe. <laughs> I'll take you to see him. Just put down the knife. Huh. How do I know you're telling the truth? Prove it. Show him to me. Trust me. I will. See? We're not gonna hurt you. I'm Marlon. The little guy's Tennessee. Ten, for short. He's the one been taking care of you. He, uh, doesn't talk much. Clementine. Sorry about locking the door and tying you to the bed and all. You were in uh, pretty rough shape when we found you. We had to take precautions, you know, just in case. Save your sorries for someone who cares. All I care about is my boy. So it seems. Still, I apologize. Tying folks up isn't exactly something we enjoy around here. But you're safe now, and so is your friend. Come on, let's go see your boy. Been surviving out there a while, huh? Yeah, we've been on the road a long time. Take it you know how to handle yourself? Don't usually see people our age alone out in the wild. I can't imagine what that must have been like. Sure, I do what I can to get by. No matter what. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We all do what we have to. Good we found you when we did. It wasn't easy getting you two out of that wreck. The walkers were on the way. The car, was it totaled? Yeah. Fuck. Had to work fast. I don't know what would have happened if we hadn't seen the smoke. I appreciate it. All alone with the kid? Not a pleasant thought. I've seen some rough scenes. Uh, hi there? What's his problem? You're just new. I mean, we haven't seen anything like you in... ever. What is this place? You can probably tell it used to be a school. Now it's whatever we want it to be. And who's in charge? Uh, well... I am. It probably sounds strange, kids run by a kid, but... we do alright for ourselves. We've got good walls, good defenses. 
Good location, too. No one really comes out this way anymore. We've carved ourselves the perfect camp. Kids are safe here. We make sure of it. <laughs> no way something like that could last. Not for long. And yet here we are, saving you and your boy's life. You must be doing something right. It hasn't been perfect. There uh, used to be a lot of us, but you know how it goes. I got us a system in place that works well enough. Allow me to make it formal. Welcome to Ericsson's boarding school for troubled youth. You and your boy feels like you both fit that description. It's hard to survive too long these days without being a bit troubled. You got me and AJ all wrong, Marlin. A couple of pure angels. <laughs> Jury's still out on you, but an angel your boy is decidedly not. It's been a little terror since he arrived. <laughs> Excuse me? Well, let's just say he hasn't been happy without you around. At all. Yo! Marlin! We got walkers on the fence! Shit. I need to take care of this. Knowing Willie, it's probably two grandma walkers and an angry squirrel. You got bigger fish. The kid's inside. I think he's with Lewis. Lewis? Oh, right. Uh, just listen for the music. You'll find him. Hey, get a move on, Willie! Where's your damn weapon? Music. Check. Master of fine ass. Master of big ass. Juris doctorate of ass. Hmm, can't go this way. Where is that music coming from? Sorry. He acts out sometimes. He's been through a lot. Yeah, well, ain't we all? Don't see any of us sinking our teeth into either of you. Boy needs to learn some respect. These look nice, even if they're fake. Mm, nope, music sounds like it's coming from this floor. doing pretty well yourself. Were you worried? You have no idea, kiddo. But, AJ, listen to me. 
That girl out there says you bit her. Is that true? Answer me, AJ. Did you bite her? I didn't mean to. She snuck up on me. Still, no more bites. No more bites. You're not dead. That's good. Watch the kid for you. My name is AJ. Excuse me. I watched AJ for you. Thanks. I appreciate it. No problem. Well, not no problem. He was a bit of a handful. But I got off light compared to what Ruby went through. AJ doesn't like people coming up behind him. Don't ever do it. Loud and clear, little man. Thankfully, I was here to calm him down with my alluring music. I'm Lewis. Clementine. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot. Marlon left your bag in here somewhere. Don't worry, I've got it. Um, double, um, does he know what that is? It's dirty. Clean it. Maybe later. Back you go. Where it belongs. Dude, that can't be a good idea. That thing's bigger than him. Is it actually loaded? Yes. Oh, good. He's earned my trust with it. He's a tot. Yeah, a tot who can shoot. You guys do your thing, I guess. You don't know any others? Well, there is one. But you're armed. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling Clementine. You are lost and gone forever. Can you play something else? Dreadful sorry, Clementine. <laughs> what do you think, AJ? I don't know. It's loud. It is. Loud is bad. Not always. Come press this key. Come on. This one right here. <laughs> Go ahead, AJ. Press it. Now press this one. And this one. <laughs> You're a natural. Hey! Have you seen Rosie? Nope. Oh, shit. We've got a bit of a situation out there. Um, <clears throat> hate to ask you just coming to and all, but could really use a hand. You up for taking out a few deadheads? You too, Lewis. Get your ass in gear. <sighs> Fine. Rosie! Where the hell is she? You give her her weapon back? Good. We're gonna need you to put it to use. We've got a hunting party out there trying to get back inside. Need our help to clear the way. Seems to be a few more than usual these last couple days. It's almost like something drew their attention. Something like, I don't know, an explosion or a car crash. Bye. What? Just saying. There's gotta be some explanation. Look, I didn't know any of that was gonna happen. Sorry if it caused you guys problems. Uh, um. Hello, Clementine. I'm Violet. Nice to meet you. What he said. All right, boys and girls. They're starting to fill in. Come on. Be careful out there. Don't mind Violet. She, uh, grows on you. I promise. Oh, this? It's a chair leg. I call it Cheryl's. Wait, let me help. 
I need you to watch my back. Call out from inside if you see anything. Cool? Okay. See you on the other side. for these asshats. They're all marked, so keep a lookout. this area for these asshats. They're all marked, so keep a lookout. them off much longer. No kidding. Where'd all these walkers come from? We can talk when we're back inside the gates. Keep an eye out for stragglers. You know, you're not half bad, considering the circumstances and all. Thanks. Let's finish these guys off. We don't need them attracting more walkers back at the school. Piece of shit. I hate this cleanup bullshit. 
shit. It's all right, girl. It's all right. Hey, see you and Rosie are making friends. Had a bad experience with the dog wines. Well, Rosie here can help you get over it. She's as cuddly as they come. Oh, except when she's mauling walkers, that is. <sighs> that walker came out of nowhere. All right, all right. Fun's over. Let's get inside. Ah, I'm fucking starving. You're not the only one. How'd it go out there? How do you think it went? Be nice, Asim. The safe stone's nearly dry. I could barely find enough for tonight. We're gonna have to scout out further if we want food for the winter. We'll talk about it later. Bullshit. We should talk about this right now. I said later, damn it. Still standing, I see. I'd call that a B plus performance there, Vi. You've done better. Fuck off. B minus then. Now, Clem here, that was a solid A. A plus even. Don't be jealous, Vi. Um, you kicked ass, Violet. A plus. I know. You're both delusional. They're pretty good with the monsters. Come on, y'all. Food's here. <sighs> AJ! <sighs> oh, shit. <sighs> I'm so sorry about that. It, it happens sometimes. <laughs> He's jumpy, little guy. You gonna be okay? He can't go around punching people in the... I don't want to expect him to eat at the same table. I'll talk to him. Hey. Hey. What are you looking at? What's that bird doing? That's gross. He should stop. The same thing we're doing. Surviving. But we don't eat monsters. Yeah, but if we could, we probably would. I wouldn't. Whatever you say. I wouldn't. Gross. I didn't mean to hit him. I didn't know that it was Marvin. Marlin. Right. AJ, I'm sure they'll forgive you. But we should go talk to them. But... But I don't think they like me. I can just tell. They don't. Hmm. If they don't, let's go show them how wrong they are. I think I'll stay here. With the bird. <sighs> AJ, listen. We haven't eaten for days. The car is gone. All that's outside these walls are walkers. Do you really want to go back out there? No. <sighs> so we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. Let's talk to the other kids first. They can see over the walls with that. Smart. There's that girl, I bet. Yeah. Want to talk to her? You mean... say I'm sorry? Yes. She's scary and always seems so mad. 
You can do it. You just gotta... You just gotta start with a joke. Once she's laughing, apologize. Uh, okay. Yes? Knock, knock. Who's there? Edge. Edge who? Bless you. Um, I'm sorry I bit you. You're forgiven, you little weirdo. I did it! You sure did. Hey guys. What is this? Our graveyard. You guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried ten sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Paying respects. Should we do that too? Maybe? I've never seen anyone do that. Yeah, I think that'd be a very nice thing to do, AJ. Come on. Thank you. I'm not ready. Not yet. Okay. Let's talk to someone else. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey. It's you two. Clementine, right? Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm, like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. <sighs> you seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back the safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt. Which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the... Hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it! That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting there. So? AJ, give it back to him. Okay. Thank you. This thing is the only place I get any real privacy around here. I gotta preserve what I can, you know? I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know... Bye. Clem? Yeah? I'm ready to talk to Marlin. Okay. Mmm, yes. Hey, guys. Clem, AJ, this is Omar. Eh, excuse me. Chef Omar. Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place, and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. Hey. Hey, you're new. I am. I'm carving a weapon. Uh, yeah, I can see that. You're good at that. You like that, huh, little dude? You wanna see something cool? I wanna see. Pretty rad, huh? That's how you fuck up some monsters. Swear. 
Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Locked up tight. Wonder what's down there. Well, better make some friends before dinner. I'm not sure anyone would pledge to that. Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. I'm the lucky one. He's just naturally good. Naturally good? That's rare stuff. I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? Well, don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You, a regular heavyweight. Hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done! You guys earn your supper after all. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. <sighs> Thanks. Wow, can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Hmm, this is really good. Mm. <laughs> oh, come on! Uh. Hey, slow it up, AJ. You're gonna choke. Just because everything else died doesn't mean manners did. I'll say good night. Good night. Clem. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. Are you sure? You bet. <sighs> I'm all done. Mm-hmm. Me too. Now what? I'll tell you what. Time for something very important. Oh, God. Good night. Violet! It's time! What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. Sounds fun. How do we play? It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Ooh, wait, what about AJ? What about him? <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. But you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. Way to go, me. So, about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related, so... What happened there? 
His dad was killed by some asshole. And his mom? Long story. Sad story. Hey, I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? Worst injury you ever saw. I uh, saw a walker get hit in the head so hard both his eyeballs flew out. Pretty cool. I saw someone have their intestines pulled all the way out. Like, all the way. It goes on for a while. We got a lot of guts. Booyah! Come on, spit it out. So, uh... Ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? Oh my god. What? It happened. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. I met a boy one time. And? And we were friends. Just friends. Nothing else? Nothing at all? I don't know what you'd call them, but I had some sort of feelings for him. Maybe not exactly love, but something. Ha, I win. So, Clef, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Anyone? The first person who taught me about survival was Lee. <laughs> What'd he teach you? Lots of stuff. Most important thing? How to shoot a gun. Useful stuff. Yeah, I taught AJ the same way too. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. What's up with your haircut, Marlin? Oh boy. Uh, what do you mean? She means looks like a dead cat. Probably smells like one, too. Uh, I look cool. <clears throat> Whatever you say. I say I look cool. Victory Violet. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? That is fucked up. <laughs> oh, I know. Any one of you, but certainly not me. So sure. Made it this far. So have we. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Yes. Go on. It was a yes or no question. I answered it. Drop it, Lewis. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah, it's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Uh, good night. Night, AJ. Hey, long day, huh? Yep, real long. Uh, I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. Relax, get some sleep, be human for a night. In the morning, come find me and talk about making this long term. We can stay? We can talk about it.